Short-term goals. So we have a long-term goal and we have short-term goals. And again, we break it down for sports, school, and life. We want to be the total package. The way we break down goal setting week two, our short-term goals, is by having a one-year goal and a six-month goal. So we break them down like that. The reality is for short-term goals, you could break them down however you'd like. You could break them down by months. You could break them down by years. For our purposes, we're gonna do a one-year goal and a six-month goal for sports, for school, and for life. So take a moment, be realistic. With short-term goals, I want you to remember the acronym SMART, S-M-A-R-T, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and a timeline. We gave you the timeline, so you've gotta provide the other letters, the SMART in the SMART. So take a moment, pause the video, and write down the short-term goals, sports, school, and life. Okay, and we're back. So what we wanna do now for part two is we wanna set up a commitment with ourselves. Not with your teacher, not with your coach, not with your parents, with yourself. Sign the commitment, sign a contract with yourself. This is something I did in a sports book uh, years ago. It had a sports contract with ourselves that we're gonna hold ourselves to a, a certain level. And what did I do? Wrote my name down, signed it, dated it, and then I realized years later, looking back in, those, in that sports book, my brothers wound up doing the same thing. They, they wrote down their name, signed their name, put down the date, and they, and they got on their way accomplishing their goals. And I think that was a big reason that helped us succeed at the high school and collegiate level because we made that contract with ourselves. Again, not a coach, not a parent, not someone else, with yourself. So take a moment, sign it, and date it, but don't do it if you're not serious about it. Pause the video now and put your name to it. Now that you've made the commitment, we wanna take it a step further. We wanna have something that we keep on us that reminds us on a regular basis of that goal that we made. So as an example, for me, my reminder of my goal is my chain. I wear it all the time. It's big, some people need big reminders. So that's what I go with. You probably heard this, this done many times with other people. Uh, they wear maybe a rubber band around them. They wear a certain necklace, whatever it might be. Have something that you're gonna keep on you on a regular basis to remind you of your goals. I'll give you a good story about this. Jim Carrey, maybe you saw this video on YouTube. He wanted to achieve the goal of um, making $5 million as an actor. So he wrote himself a check for $5 million. Maybe it was five, maybe it was 10, whatever. Wrote the check for himself put it in his wallet, and he said over time, deteriorated, deteriorated, and finally a month before, a month before he, was, he released the movie Dumb and Dumber and he actually got the $5 million check, that's when it happened. So it took him the full five years and he wrote the $5 million to himself and he was able to make that goal a reality within the five years, but he made it a goal, he wrote it down, he kept it in his wallet, so he was looking at it on a regular basis. Something else maybe you're doing as a student, if you have a certain goal you want to accomplish as a career, write that down, keep it in your wallet or keep it in your pocket and have that goal on you at all times. So either, either writing down the goal and keeping it on you or wearing something as a reminder of your goal. Goal setting week two. Mindset makes the difference.